should look at. <laughs> That's good. Did you guys see what I did? You can come back all the time. Welcome back to another episode of I Am Courageous TV. Today, I am here with my friends, Tim and Amanda Coles, who are creating encouraging entertainment to teach kids and families. So guys, first of all, thank you so much for letting me come interview you. You're very sweet. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Me too, this is gonna be so much fun. So first off, tell me, what is y'all's job? Well, we get to travel all over the country and around the world doing family programming for kids and their parents. We do puppetry, ventriloquism, illusions. Uh, and our, our programs that we always do, we always try to help people understand what it means to be community, and what it means to work together as community and how everybody has something amazing that they can contribute. Yeah. But we always try to do it with a lot of fun. And, of course. Know, I mean, try to make you laugh along the way. <laughs> So you mentioned puppetry. What is that? Puppetry is when you take an inanimate object and bring it to life. Mm -hmm. I actually brought a puppet with me that I can show you how this works. So this is um, almost kind of like a regular sock puppet. You know, you've heard about sock puppets where you take your sock and make it into a puppet, uh, except that he has ears and eyes and you put your hand inside and we have little rods on there. <laughs> hands so that you can make his make it wave. Um, I'll let you try them on because one of the fun Fine. things about puppetry is you have to know how to work the puppet. Yeah. So whenever you're working the puppet, you'll want to make sure that you take your hand, like if, if this mm -hmm. is your puppet, and you want to turn the nose down a little because if I were to talk to you and I were to talk to you up like this, yeah, it would make for an awkward conversation. So you want to make sure that you bring his eyes down cool. so that you're making eye contact with your audience. I'm looking at you. Yes! <laughs> very good! <laughs> Yay! And then the next thing to remember is that you want to drop the bottom jaw. So this is what I always tell people uh, when you're learning puppetry. If you grab your jaw right here and you say, yeah, 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 then your jaw is moving. If you grab your upper tooth, yeah, 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 it doesn't move, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing with the puppet. So you want to make sure that you move just your thumb. Yeah. Very good. That's good. Yay! That is so much fun. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about the believable movements? Yes. So there are three things really that you want to remember. One is to bring their eye down. The other is to make sure that you just drop the bottom jaw. Right. Your, or the, your thumb. And sometimes I've actually had friends of mine who are puppeteers that say that they cross their fingers like this oh. and that it makes it easier as they're learning. That would. Yeah. And it's, it's harder to move the top the of top. your hand. And it's called flipping your lid. So if you're like doing like this, mm -hmm. uh, then your puppet will look like, hey, 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 hey you know, and, oh. and it, it's called flipping your lid is what we call it. Um, if you I'm going to do ABCs like that. Right. I'm flipping my lid. I'm also biting my words, which is what you don't want to do. So when you open your mouth, you want the sound to come out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> so you have believable movement in action, which is what you're asking about, which yeah. is just having him move around. Make sure that you keep that nose down. Right. Don't flip your lid. No. And don't bite your words. All right. So. And then that's, that's puppetry. So you take something inanimate, like a sock, mm -hmm. put some ears on it, put some eyes on it, and then you've got your puppet. That's so fun. Yeah. So can you really make a puppet from anything? Um, pretty much, especially if you've got googly eyes. Always <laughs> googly eyes, or even if you use a Sharpie, you can take a sock, put your hand on it, draw some eyeballs, or a paper bag. That's, would that work well as a puppet? Oh, oh yeah. You can use puppet. Yes, yep. exactly. Mm -hmm. Just a little brown paper bag, mm -hmm. add some eyes and embellishments, and you can create your very own puppet. I love music. How about we go sing? Come on! Skid a rinky dinky dink, skid a rinky do. I love you. Skid a rinky dinky dink, skid a rinky do. I love you. 
and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. puppetry and ventriloquism are those the same thing or are they different well ventriloquism is a little bit different puppetry you're behind a backdrop mm -hmm. because you don't want to see the puppeteer right in ventriloquism you're out front holding the ventriloquist character the puppet mm -hmm. and so you're talking with that character but everybody can see both of you at the same time oh so that's the difference puppetry is behind a curtain ventriloquism is out front and how exactly do you get to make the character talk if they can see both of you? Well, would you like to see one? Yes, please. So ventriloquism is a little bit different type of character. In the puppets, it doesn't usually have legs. It's half a puppet. With ventriloquism, what? what? Yeah, you have legs. <laughs> this is good. Well, this is my good pal Hickory McNutt, and this is my sidekick Tim. No, 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 no. You're my sidekick. Aw, oh, man. Get that next up. <laughs> this is Gabby over here. Hi. Hey, Gabby, what's going on, girl? Nothing much. I'm really nice to meet you. <laughs> She's so nice. I really like your sweater vest. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. You. I like that too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's ventriloquism. Same thing as puppetry, bring an inanimate object to life, mm -hmm. but just a different form. Mm -hmm. So how did you get started in ventriloquism? My grandparents were directors of a camp. And one of the other counselors up there, this was when I was very little, had a ventriloquist character like this. Mm -hmm. And he used him with all the kids. And so I just found it very fascinating. So I went to the library and I checked out the only book the library had on ventriloquism <laughs> and read and read and read and practiced and practiced and practiced. And it all just started from there. So how did you get the character to talk? So ventriloquism is using your voice and keeping your lips still so it looks like the character, the puppet, is talking. So it looks like he has his own personality and he's breathing, he's alive, he's animated. Just like in the soft puppets, he's animated. And when they're animated, there's a believability that they are real. It's really cool seeing this human, little human character sitting on your leg and she's just sitting here having a conversation with us. It's incredible. Well, thanks for letting me come in and say hello. Of course, very nice to meet you. I gotta, go. really nice I gotta take off. You need to go? Yeah, I gotta take off. I gotta get out of here. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your friend Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What's the password? What? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean? Oh, Gigi. Now, Gigi is our friend who is a turtle. She travels all over the country. She's actually been able to travel uh, all over the world. She has a lot of fun uh, learning about the world around her and then sharing about, you know, what she's learning. But she's very young. You know, she's a turtle and she's only three years old. So she still has a lot that she needs to learn. And often what will happen is she'll go into a situation and meet some new friends, and then she learns a lot from those friends. Mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, a lot of fun to watch. Okay, Gigi? Yeah? What is going on over here? That's a sheep baby. 
with a bucket on her head. It, why does she baby have a bucket on her head? I don't know. We should ask her. Listen, okay. when your sheep baby has a bucket on her head, yes. you got to ask her why. Makes sense. You can't yes. just let her walk around uh, with a bucket on her head. Okay, okay. Come with me to meet Gigi. Okay, I made it to Gigi's house. I am so excited to be here. This is going to be so much fun. Now, where is Gigi? Hey, Gabby, watch this. What are you doing? Santa! Oh, Gigi, are you doing a headstand? I'm standing on my head. That is so cool. Do you know how to stand on your head? I do not. I would fall over very quickly. Yeah, will you put your finger on my yep. toe? All right, there you go. You got it? Yeah. All right. You can hold it so well, still. Here's Gigi's feet. Yeah. All right, shall we meet? No! Oh! Sorry, um, Gigi. I fell you okay? on my nose on my head. Ooh. That's okay, though. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Guys, kiddos. This <gasps> is Gigi. Hi, Gigi. guys, kiddos. <laughs> Gigi. Yeah. You know, here's a little fun thing I realized. Yeah. So, my name is Gabby. Yeah. And your name is Gigi. Yeah, my name is Gigi. Her name's Gabby. Mm hmm. But did you know that my initials are G G? What? My initials. Your my initials first and last is... name are G G. My initials is Gigi. I know. So we're basically I'm, the same person. I'm Gigi and you're Gigi. Yep. We're and we're Gigi's. both Gigi. We're two Gigi's. That's hilarious. I'm not <laughs> Gigi. Wait. Gigi, you seem very wise. How old are you? I'm three years old. You're three years old? Yes. Whoa. You are so smart, Gigi. I know. I'm getting so, so grown up and old. You are. So, Gigi, yeah. tell me about some of your friends. Oh, I have so many friends. Yeah? I have one friend, his name is Digger, mm -hmm. and he's very nice, and he likes to, um, like, do a lot of gardening. Really? That's why I like, call him Digger. Ha ha! Wow. Hey! Hi. That's Gloria! Hi, Gloria. She's a naked chicken. Oh! Well, hi. Pardon, yeah, look at you, Gloria. And this is my... My BFF is She Baby. Hi, She Baby. Yeah, I bring her all. She goes everywhere with me. Hey, She Baby girl, how you doing? She say to the people, say hey to the peoples. She said hey to the people. Hi, can I shake your hand, She Baby? Yeah, you can shake yeah. her hand. She likes Hi. it. She has nice very like stumpy little legs. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like her little legs. Yeah, she's so nice. She's mm -hmm. very soft. Yeah, she's soft because she's a sheep baby. Yeah. yeah. You know, I actually have a very special friend who came with me to come visit you. A sheep baby? Not a sheep baby. No. He's actually a lion baby. A lion baby. Mm -hmm. His wow. name is Courage. He's sitting right over there. Oh, Hi, Courage. hey, Courage. <laughs> hey, lion baby. Sheep baby girl, you see that lion baby over there? Courage, did you see my sheep baby? Yeah, he yeah. saw you over here. Don't be scared of Lion. He's very, very sweet. In yeah, fact, friendly. he's all about being brave and being strong. Are you brave and strong, Gigi? Yes, I'm very brave and strong. Mm -hmm. When I went to, um, I was at the park the other day, and there was this really tall slide, and it was like so tall, and you know what? Hmm. I just went down it. <gasps> just That's like so this, I just went like whoosh. Were you scared at all? I was. Yes, I was very scared. Yeah. But, but then I did it one time, and then I wasn't scared, and then I did it again. Exactly. Yeah. So, guys, something might be very scary, but if you take a deep breath and you just go for it. Yeah, just go whoosh. Whoosh, down the slide. Yeah. Guess what? You are being brave, and it hopefully will get a lot easier next time you do it. Yeah. And who knows? If it's something scary like going down a big slide, it could whoosh. even become fun. <laughs> Gigi, thanks for letting me come hang out with you. This was so much fun. I loved getting to meet your friends yeah. and introducing you to my friend, Courage. Yeah. This was really fun. Yeah, it was so much fun. Now, Gigi, can I maybe come back again sometime? Yeah, you can come back all the times. Awesome! <laughs> well, I would love to see you again, but for now, I have actually got to go. So, you have fun with Sheep Baby and Gloria. Yeah. And Courage and I will see you sometime soon. All right, see you next time. Bye, Gigi. Bye, guys. So now that we've gotten to know a little bit about what y'all do, how old were each of you when you started puppetry and ventriloquism? Good. Well, when I started puppetry, 
I was very young. I actually remember doing my first puppet show when I was five years old. I performed for my kindergarten class at school. I was a little bit older. <laughs> I was around 12 right. years old. It doesn't matter what age we are. No. We can accomplish whatever we want to accomplish. Exactly. So you don't have to be a grown up to start learning a cool skill. No matter how old you are, you can start making a difference in the world. Now, what kind of training do you need to be in puppetry or be a ventriloquist? The training that you need is mostly just a lot of practice and a lot of fun. It's similar with ventriloquism. You, there are quite a few good books that you can read. Uh, there are some private coaches. There's not like a ventriloquist school and watching other performers and ventriloquists, that was probably the biggest thing for me, was to watch other performers. I would say, yeah, watching other performers and then also watching yourself <laughs> perform. Yes. So even if you're just rehearsing, you can still record what you're doing. And then you watch someone who you look up to and who you really you know, admire what they're doing and compare it with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You can always see lots of uh, areas that you can improve and then it helps you say, oh, I could be doing this better. Or I could be doing that better. And, right. Yeah. Entertaining is, it's so much fun because you can make people feel different emotions. You can make them laugh. You can make them feel happy if something sad is happening or like what we try to do with you. We love to encourage you through entertainment and through awesome people's stories. Now it's time for Illusions with Tim. Today, I want to teach you how to do a trick. Does that sound good? All right, now this is very expensive to put together. What you need to do is to find two Kleenexes. What you need to do is you take one of the Kleenexes and crumple it up into a tight little ball just like that in your hand, but you cannot let your friends know that it is in your hand, okay? So then you hold up the Kleenex and say, this is the famous torn and restored Kleenex trick. So what you do is you begin to tear the Kleenex into a bunch of little pieces, just like that. You crumple it up into a nice tight little ball, just like that. Now, watch very carefully. This is where the trick really happens. You say, I am going to need, uh, oh, I know, a ballpoint pen or something like that. And what we're going to do is I am going to wave over the napkin. Did you guys see what I did? <laughs> yeah, you saw me rotate them in my hand just like that. So all you have to do, remember you can't let them see that one, is unravel the napkin and you've restored it. But just in case, just in case you accidentally let them see the other napkin, well then all you have to do is to restore that one too. So where and how do you get your puppets and ventriloquist dummies? And guys, just so you know, dummy in this case isn't being mean. It's actually what the characters are called. Yeah, they're called ventriloquist dummies, or as they like to be known, they, they much prefer being called mannequin Americans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where exactly can you get them and how? Well, like Hickory, I made Hickory. Wow. I carved him out of wood and put his teeth in there and his eyes to give him the features that I wanted him to have. Mm -hmm. And so, but if you go with your parents online, you can just type in where to buy controlled with dummies. And it'll come up different places that you're able to purchase them. That's so cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about puppets? Puppets, I actually cannot build my own puppets. And so I have friends who I know who are very, very talented who build them. The easiest thing to do is to look online. You know, actually, I bet if you go to Etsy or even Amazon, you can type in puppets and you can find something there. You mentioned that you have made ventriloquist dummies for movies and shows. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about a couple of those? So I've worked with Adam Sandler and built for his movies and actually Kevin James. And so Kevin James was uh, the ventriloquist. And then I've also built for the television show The Goldbergs, and I've worked with ABC and Sony and Netflix. Do you have a favorite puppet to have built? Hickory. Yeah. There have been a couple versions of Hickory. Really? This is the newest version, and he's actually 12 years old now. And you still love it? Oh yes, I love it very much. And the, what I enjoy the most is walking out and seeing everybody's eyes and ears perk up, and they start smiling because they're not sure what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the character talks, and this is one thing that is so fun about ventriloquism, when the character talks, everybody looks at the puppet. They're not looking at you. So of course, lip control and those types of things are important. Mm -hmm. But the first two minutes of a ventriloquist routine are the most important. 
because if you can convince them in the first two minutes that the puppet's talking, when the puppet speaks, everybody's eyes will go Yes. and look at the puppet. It's music time! It might seem crazy what I'm about to say Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break I'm a hot air balloon that can go to space With the air like I don't care, baby, by the way Because I'm happy I'm along if you feel like a room without a roof Because I'm happy I'm along if you feel like happiness is the truth Because I'm happy Talk along if you know what happiness is to you Because I'm happy Talk along if you feel like that's what you want to do Here come bad news, talking this and that Give me all you got and don't hold it back I should probably warn you I'll be just fine To you, don't waste your time. Here's why. Because I'm happy. Talk along if you feel like a room without a roof. Because I'm happy. Talk along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy. Talk along if you know what happiness is to you. Because I'm happy. Talk along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Bring me down, can't nothing. Bring me down, my level's too high. Bring me down, can't nothing. Bring me down, because I'm happy. Talk along if you feel like a room without a roof. Because I'm happy. Talk along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy. Talk along if you know what happiness is to you. Because I'm happy Talk along if you feel like that's what you want to do Tim, Amanda, thank you so much for letting me come interview y'all today. This was so much fun, and I know we all learned a lot from you. Of course. <laughs> Our phrase is, I am courageous. Is there anything that y'all want to tell the kids? Oh, just encourage you to be who you are. And remember, reach up, reach out, help make the world a better place, because you are an inspiration. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. <laughs> Come with me as we go behind the scenes and take a look at some Hollywood magic. So here's a little behind the scene peek. This is what we call Hollywood magic. Currently, we're on what's called a green screen, but that means we can put us wherever we want to be. You mean like the moon? Uh-huh. Whoa! Here we go. Whoa. Or we could go to the beach. Ah. Oh. Feel the sun. Mm -hmm. that oh, feels super sandy. Or an iceberg. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold here. Oh, let's huddle. That's warm, warm. Okay, Very let's good. go back. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, so isn't that cool? A green cool. screen makes you anywhere you want to be. That's right. Pretty awesome. Of a finger. This has been an I Am Courageous television production. Special thanks to Hope Hits Harder for sponsoring this episode. Cancer hits hard, but hope hits harder. I Am Courageous is supported by viewers like you. To learn more, visit IamCourageous.net.